Hello and welcome to Sebastian Plays This. I'm Sebastian. Last time we were with Dan. We survived a raid. We worked a little bit more on the Dan's Bone Shack in the hotel. And we ended up getting a new prisoner named Dan Ziger, who after watching some of my previous footage, I learned that we actually hate this person because they are a cannibal and pyromaniac. Which is just about the worst combination of things we could have right now. So, unless they have some really good... Which they don't. Unless they had some really good genes. I wasn't going to keep them. So we... Are just gonna... Execute you, I think. And I think we're gonna do that now. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that was easy. They're dead now. Perfect. Hey, Dan, I know it's like... Just before midnight, but we're gonna go see if these guys have anything useful to trade. Which, I mean, if we could get him that helmet, I feel like he would look pretty snazzy in a prestige marine helmet. But it would take everything we have. So, fortunately, I think we're going to have to wait on that one. Although there is a crown. Well, it's a headdress, but we'll, we'll take it. We'll take the snazzy headdress. Couldn't help but notice our... Our hospital is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so I think we're going to try to change that with an ice bowl. Hopefully that works, and... Well, hopefully. We'll see. And look at that. Now that we have an ice bowl here, it's brought it down to a... To also 100 degrees. Shit, this is not the solution I was looking for. But maybe if there were two... Aha, perhaps with two it will... Okay, it's ticking down. Uh, you know what? 98 degrees is, uh, 96 degrees is a fine temperature to have a hospital, you know? Like, it's good for you. And we have a visitor from House Sorin, which reminds me, I was going to switch this. We're going to change this into tenets as opposed to using the hospitality system. The tenant system allows you to do uh, ranges from like three days to seven days with the option for guests to extend their stays. I just think that will work a little bit better for us managing this hotel. We will keep these people here for now, though, because they are giving us money, and, you know... If Bone Man is anything, he is a capitalist. Alani, you may have stolen Dan's hat, but... You did level up your psi casting, so I am going to make an exception to this slight, and I will... Allow you to keep said hat. Um, okay, that was... Who just stole my monocle? Did you steal? No, 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 no. If anyone is going to have a monocle that we're so lovingly gifted to by our guests, it's going to be the Bone Man. Obviously. Dan. Go get your monocle. We're, like, going to be an evil hotel <laughs> running baron. We need the monocle. Let us see us. Let, 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 let us see you. The monocle. Yeah, there we go. That's the face of somebody you want running a hotel. I would like to thank Casually Vintage for suggesting the name Glenda. So now our newest child is named Glenda Boneman. Uh, she's got nothing going on in her life, but thank you, Casually Vintage, for the name suggestion. If you'd like to leave your own name suggestions, be sure to join the Discord or comment below. Also, I just realized this is just such a lovely image. Everyone, oh, never mind. The party's over, I guess. I guess it wasn't that lovely of an image. I guess breastfeeding in the middle of the party was, uh... Well, you know what? It doesn't look like that's having too much of an effect on anything. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, this isn't so bad. The hospital cooled to a good 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not awful. Could definitely be worse. Can't say I'm too upset. Definitely need to find a way to chill the hotel, though. This has been... This has not been great. Okay, we seem to be dealing with a mad Ibex Ram, which is not what we want to deal with. Where's Dan? He can deal with this, right? Dan has the Buster Sword, so of course he can. We're gonna really quickly be sure this doesn't turn into a catastrophe. Come on, Dan, you're carrying around that 20... Oh my god, he looks so crazy. 
Believe it or not, this is the male ideal form. Monocle, giant sword, and all. Be amazing if he gets taken down by an Ibex, but yeah, didn't happen. We're good. And also, free food. Nice. I know Dan was probably the wrong pick to but butcher this thing, but... Actually, no, he's fine. I feel like it's more satisfying if he cuts it up himself, you know? And just realized Mara doesn't really have an actual place to sleep. We... Should work on... Wait. No, Mara, there, there are options. Mara, what the hell? Okay, this is just... This is probably just for attention, then. There you go. Sleep inside. Does anyone else not have a place to sleep? Oh, wait, yeah, probably the babies. The babies probably don't. Although... No, they do. Okay. Lonnie and Aaron sleeps there. Okay. Yeah, everyone's got a place to sleep. We should probably start building houses as soon as possible, though. Apparently, Ramon here is a lover of our colonist Aaron? Or not. No, Odette is. Hmm. I mean, I hope they get pregnant. It'd be very useful for us. Although, I'm pretty sure they would take the child with them, so... Might have a kidnapping situation to do in the future. We'll see. God, it's so beautiful when we finally get to cut down our trees. Cannot express how much we need this. We need all the wood for everything forever. And here we are. Well, we finally ran out of storage space. So I think it's time we make a second stuff hole, but preferably probably out of slate. Cause I don't think, I don't think we're ever gonna get to the point where we have enough trees for it to make sense for us to do this. So. Let's build a nice slate wall. Considering we haven't found a way to make drywall yet, I think Dan takes out his frustration on the various ancient war walker legs. You know, you do what you can. You do what you can when you can punch drywall. I just realized our smartest boy on the planet, Aaron, is not researching. Well, he wasn't researching. So we're going to have him do that for a little while, I think. Oh god, I never noticed how close we were to being out of food. That rice really came just in time. But it looks like we're going to survive this. Just barely, but we're going to make it. I really should have paid closer attention to that. And just like that, Alani has gotten a new Psycaster level, which will quickly invest in season time skip. I don't know what that'll do, but we'll do it. Break up? Who broke up? Oh, Aaron and his lover broke up. Oh, that's fine. That's the least of our concern for breakups. And we also got a gift of some, ooh, exalted medicine. That'll be really useful to use on <laughs> probably a bruise. And would you look at that? We finally have a new zone. Huh, about time. Really need to get new storage for a while now, but here we go. Eventually we'll get this more organized, but as you can see, we've already gone through nothing in our list. Now that we have a fresh amount of slate, I think we're gonna make some slave, co slave cottages, which to be honest, these are probably going to be better than what most people live in the colony, but it'll be fine. I'm sure no one will notice. I am just now realizing that we have the skeleton of Danziger still here. I may have to, uh, I may have to deal with this at some point. You know what? We're going to destroy it. There we go. Our animal grass is starting to become a little bit overrun. Uh, it's actually going into, it's gone outside of its typical space, which I never thought to actually get any farther than this. So that's kind of interesting to see. Maybe eventually we'll have, like, a big field of anima grass. Now, hear me out. I know it's a huge waste. I know it's a huge waste of a valuable resource. However, hear me out. What if we make mithril all the way around the anima tree? Because it'll match color-wise. And as any RimWorld, like, expert will tell you, it, it, it pretty. And Diver Pregnant. Good for Diver. Diver Pregnant. Diver Pregnant. 
Diver Pagnate, indeed. And see, that does just look so much better. And plus, we get more wood out of this, which is perfect, because we can get more Mithril. Wood. Wood is an ordeal. I've switched to an ergonomic mouse, which, uh... <laughs> I've never done before, and apparently it takes two weeks to get used to. Can, can, can you, is it obvious that I'm not used to it yet? And here we go, what I've been looking for for a while. We can put down a little tenant. Well, notice board to get new tenants. Yeah, then people bring their silver here every week to pay their rent. We can rent out houses and It'll be great, and we can actually have the hotel actually be used as a hotel. Or maybe even apartments. Either thing I think would be really cool. But there it is. Perfect. Now we just need someone to put bring in some... Yeah, now we just need someone to bring in some silver here, and then we can ask for tenants. I'm sure it's good for the baby that Diver does this. But also, we're being raided by House Oswin. We only have one who's 13 undergrounder and straight, so they would be good at mining. I think we're going to try to capture this one. Now look, <laughs> hear me out. So, Bone Man has, I think, the highest melee skill out of everyone here, which is great most of the time. However, my little bit of a downside to Bone Man is that he does have a tendency to execute people on the spot. Which is not exactly what we're looking for. So, Mara here is terrible. Well, not terrible at melee. She's not good at melee. Then Alani here is awful at melee. So, my idea here is to draft both of them. And just hope that they can knock out this. That's the goal, to knock out the child, so. Let's see how that goes. Okay, Alani's coming in first, which is kind of the worst case scenario. I don't want her to die. Because I actually like her a lot. Ooh, boy. Okay, she's not. She's not doing well. Um, that's not great. Okay, then. We're gonna quickly just, uh... We're gonna see... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Mara, you're on your way, right? Yeah, you're on your way. Come on, Mara. Mara, why are you so slow? Oh, because you were missing a leg. I guess that makes sense. That would explain things a bit. Hmm. They're not dying, which is a good sign. Good sign. Yeah, we really could have done better on this one. Um, who? Aaron. Aaron, are you a fighter? You know how to fight? You don't know how to fight well, but how about you just real quickly? <laughs> oh, God. This might have been a big mistake. Okay. Alani got up. Now it's two on one. And I think I'm not going to risk anyone dying here, so... We're going to just very quickly... You bitch! Dude... This one! Oh no. Ah, uh, and she's down again. Okay, that's not great. I think we're actually going to need Bone Man here, just in case. Okay, okay, they're down. Oh, Aaron. Aaron... If only you weren't stubborn, I would recruit you. <laughs> and... Oh, God. You've really earned your keep. Now, were you any good, actually? Uh, melee's good. Of course, Undergrounder's great. Warlord, skin color, regeneration, natural silink. Okay. Um... I think <laughs> there's any possibility that we get this guy on our side and we actually get their genetics. Like, I think that's the way to go. I think that'd be perfect. Oh, and look at this. This kind of fell right into our lap. A ship apparently crash landed. 
Hmm. What if they... Ooh, shooting is not great. Too smart, kind of sucks. I mean, full legs, not great. Colin, what's what is this? Creamskin, Ravager. Interesting. Not particularly useful. Uh, Undergrounder, straight. I mean, these are all good. I would... And they're 15, so they could probably get with our newly our new prisoner. And this one is really good at melee. I mean... I mean... We should just pick up these people. <laughs> it would be great. Hopefully they don't... Uh... I mean, yeah. Free people, why not? Hopefully they don't want to leave. Uh, Bone Man is okay at doing medical, so how about we just tend these people? Which, honestly, we should actually put most of our work into this one instead. Because Alani can reverse her age eventually, which would be huge for us. And look at that, we used all of our best medicine on bruises. Is anyone surprised? Probably not. Oh, we have a growth moment for Ain. Let's see, or Ayn. Um, she's reached seven years old. Her Oh, she actually learned pretty well. I'm surprised. I thought she was going to kind of grow up terribly. So I think it'd be great if we can get her into mining, plants, and intellectual. Because eventually she's got to take over for Dan Bone Man, so... Like, that'd be a great thing. And very diligent student would be also really good. But I don't learn much faster in skills they lack passions in. So they'll learn the same in these. They'll learn faster in everything else. Which, you know what? That's fine. Perfect. You know, she's really setting up to be a good character eventually. All right, we got our teenager here. We, um, are you dying? You're not dying, right? We've, okay, we haven't really taken care of you, but... Whatever. New settlement. What is this? Expanded and created a new settlement of the... F hmm. Okay. I mean, that's got to be nearby if we got notified about it. Did we ever treat you? Okay, you were treated. Perfect. Alright, we're going to convert Nikolay here. Then we're going to recruit them. Which I think, because they have already like high melee and they're kind of in the mining, that part doesn't really matter. But their genetics are just so good. Like, if we can... They got a natural Psylink and regeneration. This could wind up being a very powerful individual. They got the Warlord thing here. I think they're probably going to wind up being our just, like, frontline defense eventually. And just like that, we have enough technology... Well, enough research stored up to finally get some new technology. Which I was thinking... What we really need is a better way to do storage. So let's go see what we've got for storage. Rustic storage. I mean, we'll take it. Perfect. And you know what? Why not brewing and noble apparel? Why not? We could do that. Maybe also some glassworks for some windows and a presser for cheese. And what? how much freaking stuff do we have left? Um, and berry cultivation. Why not? So this would be a bit of a long-term play. But what I'm thinking is we do just furniture, lamppost, production, or maybe not. Oh, there it is. Not, wait, no, not drawing rack. What am I looking for? Okay, after looking things up, turns out I need to research a thing, but eventually I think we should make, we have low food. Fucking excuse me. No, we do not. We have 30 food. But eventually, I think we should make a little, uh, like, vineyard thing over here. I think it would be really cool, and we could brew a bunch of... Well, not brew. We could make a bunch of wine over here. Yeah, I think that would work out pretty well, and then we could serve it at our, at our tavern and hotel. I think that'd be great. Looks like we can finally... So we could finally do time reversal, making Alani the master of time magic. 
Awesome. And look at that. The one person we really needed to join actually did join. That's off to a great start. They have Dragon Blood, Tolerance, and Addiction, which is odd. Very, very odd. They do practice a re weird religion, which I'm not going to be too concerned about. I mean, I don't think it conflicts with us too much, so should be fine. And we'll eventually convert them, I think. I mean, hopefully we do. But looking them over, the Genex are fine. Not fantastic, they're, they're fine. But awesome. We actually got one of them. This does take wood, which is kind of like the one thing I hate spending anything on. But I feel like it's worth it. We're going to get a good amount of grapes from this. There we go. So grapes grow on posts. They don't grow just like anywhere. And you have to turn it into, uh, I think, wine must or grape must or musk, whatever. Elon Musk. Yeah, you have to turn it into that. And then you can turn it into wine. Yeah, we can get a little vineyard going for now. I think that'd be kind of cute. So growing season is now, but I don't know how good that's actually going to be. But, I mean, I guess we'll have to see. Hopefully they actually will end up planting things. I don't know why we're not doing that now. And where there's a Manhunter pack, which is... Of what? Of... Rabbits? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we should take care of that. I have suffered massive losses from things like this before. Come on, Dan. Don't let him make a fool out of you. You have the monocle for a reason. You immediately did get hurt, and that one is just ignoring you? Excuse me. Ice spike. Yeah. Then we're gonna eat them. Which is good, because I think we're low on food. Uh, we are low on food. We're really low on food. We're not low on hay, but I don't think anyone wants to eat that right now, so... A little bit of luck there. Oh dear god, we're finally getting cotton. We'll finally be able to put carpet down and actual flooring in the hotel. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I mean, I kinda wish you wouldn't do a party right now. That's kinda like the least opportune time in the world, because I want you to do things, but... You know, I I feel like celebrating is fine here. A flirting frenzy from Bone Man. Would that even be useful for us right now? I mean, probably not, right? Alani? I mean, it would not be bad to get Alani's genetics in here. I mean, he's got a lot of good ones, but Alani has a lot of good ones. And if we could get their age reversed... It would be amazing to hook those two up. You know what? Preemptively, I'm just gonna have... We're gonna try to romance Alani. It was unsuccessful. That's extremely disappointing. Well, that's too bad. Because we finally have enough to do this, let's finally put in a little bit of flooring. I don't know what color floors the Bone Man the bone shack should have. I feel like green kind of makes sense, like this moss color. I don't know, that seems like he would do it. I don't know. I also just kind of want to look nice, and I like the moss color, so that's what's going to be. And if you don't like it, then tell me in the comments, I guess. Excuse me, McMillan has died? How did you die? Malnutrition? Wait, does everyone have malnutrition? Okay, you have trivial malnutrition. No, I did. We have. Oh, we don't have food. That's why. Oh, no. Well. Um. In the words of King Julian, uh, <laughs> thank you for the sacrifice. Very lovely sacrifice. We do appreciate it. Thankful for what you what you've provided us in our time of need. <laughs> We're just gonna 
Oh, and that gives us bones too, which I believe we can start making bone soup. That'd be definitely worth doing if we can do it. Which actually would mean that we wouldn't have a need to result in, uh, we wouldn't have had to do any cannibalism. Hmm. Well, let's hope. Okay, never mind. There's. We can make tallow. We can't make bone soup, though, right? No, we, we can't. Okay. Although, damn it, I should check. No, we cannot make bone soup. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. There, there, there's literally just a dead buffalo here. Like, we did not have to do cannibalism. I think that was us maybe being a little too eager. Uh, let's, um... Yeah, let's eat the muffalo. It's got so much meat on it, like... Ridiculous. We were maybe way too eager to start eating people. Hmm. I mean, you live, you learn. This is definitely going to take way more than the amount of cotton we have. Uh, 77. So, less than 700 at least is what we need, and we have... Well, how much do we have in the field? Okay, never mind. We, we totally do this. We got this. We'll have enough. That'll be great. Then we can probably put like some slate or maybe some wood down in here just to kind of show off our wealth in wood. It's very funny. I got one colony that's got like 14,000 wood constantly in full supply, and yet this one. This one is happy if they get like 100 wood. Starvation? How the hell are you starving? Also, I. I am remembering, you are wearing a monocle on your left eye, I'm pretty sure, that does not exist. Dan, that's only gotta look weird to people, right? Excuse me, Dan. Oh no, it's your right eye, so you're missing one eye. And your other eye has a monocle, okay. Okay, oh, we're just gonna pretend that's all normal. Super normal. Totally. Anyhow, where are those muffalo? I think we desperately need food. So we're gonna eat them if we can find them. Oh damn, it would suck if they just left, wouldn't it? I feel like that's very possible. Oh, there's horses. Oh wait, nope, there's... There we go, this would be perfect. Dan, for the good of the colony. Gonna make you kill every last animal on the map. Okay, I maybe pushed my luck a little bit with, uh, with Dan. Um, I kind of showered his nose. Which, not ideal. Not ideal for Dan not to have a nose. But look at that, we do have, we do have, we do have rams. So that's good. Are you, are you pissed? No, you're fine, you're fine. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> that was, um... That was a little bit too overly ambitious, I think. Everyone would be so much better off if we just cooked the food before we... before we just ate the raw meat. I feel like people need to stop doing that. I feel like it's kind of a choice to eat raw meat at this point. <sighs> Can anyone take care of him? Is anyone good at medical? God, I hope he's not the best one we have at medical. I mean, Aaron, Aaron, pull buddy old pal. Uh, you're gonna go fix up your your master bone man. And for this, I'll reward you by not making you a cat boy maid. Oh, and look who decided to go berserk. As bone man is out of commission. Ah, you shithead. Because of starvation? Why is nobody feeding you? You should be fed. Yeah, that, that, you know what, dude? That is our fault. That is our bad. Um, are you good at fighting? You're not good at fighting. Are you good at fighting? You're fine at fighting. I think you would be so much better at fighting if you actually had a weapon. So we're gonna give you one. I don't know why we haven't done that. You need to not go in there. You stay the fuck out of there. Mara. Who? Did I, I gave you a weapon, right? Yeah, I gave you a big old hammer. I need you to hit this person. 
It's weird that she doesn't have her weapon out, isn't it? There's no way that this is not a weapon, right? I feel like there's a high chance it's not a weapon. Which is too unwieldy for a normal person to use. Alani, get in here. We're gonna reverse your age, I think. So I think that's the only way we're gonna not have Mara die. Yep, it definitely is. Well, you know... There you go. You're now 23 and you're... 46. Perfect, lovely. Go rescue this idiot. How, how damaged are you? Oh, you're dying in 12 hours. Everything's perfectly under control. Totally. Okay, Glenda is finally a child. Which means, yeah, of course they're gonna rename, remain a colonist. That'd be insane. Yeah, good for them. Um, do you have anything good about you? Not really. Hmm. I mean, was there something good genetically about you? Uh, is, is, is your sister better? Your sister is about the same. You both are dignified meditators, which is just... Pretty big disappointment. Not gonna lie. <laughs> wait, is this a dessert? Oh, wait, no, that's desert. God, I'm fat. Okay, I don't normally like to install peg legs, but I think we're gonna have to do that. And any chance we can give you a new arm? No. No, we don't know how to do that. Okay, well, guess we're not doing that. Uh, excuse me, extract soul? What the fuck would that do? I don't think we need to do that, but I would love to know what that means. Soul extraction, soul gem. Okay, that doesn't, uh, doesn't clear anything up. In the comments, if you know what that is, uh, let me know. Maybe we'll use it sometime. Okay, it's still playing us. We still need a lot of food. Um, oh, there's buffalo here. I wonder if we could kill the buffalo. Does anyone have a gun? You have a gun. Diver. You know what? You could be good at you could be really good at shooting things, right? Maybe that's your secret talent. That you would like be a great hunter. If I could find wherever the hell hunt is. Hunt, there we go. Yeah, number one priority will be hunt. And let's just mark all of you to be hunted. Uh ten percent chance? She'll be fine. Famous last words. Oh, if it isn't the fucking goddamn consequences of my actions. Uh, Bone Man cannot get up, which is not great. Why are we not eating this? Um. Hmm. You were shot once. Which is probably not enough. What are you injured from? Oh, bruised from the bison. That makes sense. Can we just get you inside as soon as possible? Please? I, uh, I now fear for your well-being. And also, just somebody, for the love of God, somebody pick up a weapon that they can use. It's like all I want in the world. Are you a weapon? Yeah, you're a weapon. Okay. Mara, I don't want you to die. I really don't want you to die, but also, I really need this. I really need you to pick this up. Oh, she's... Definitely not gonna win this. This is not a fight she can win. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Uh, Mara. Ooh. Are you missing a leg? Yeah, you're missing a leg. You are not who I need to be doing this. Aaron. Yeah, you're the one. I need you to equip this. Please. Wait, why is no one wielding the arcane staff? Is the arcane staff good? Or is the arcane staff terrible? The arcane staff is terrible. Okay, well. Diver, are you dying? Are you gonna die? No, you're not gonna die. You're only Pergantanat. Pergante, as some would say. Ooh, you're here though. Go take care of this, please. <laughs> And you, you are probably, you're probably have no experience in fighting anything. So how about you help? Oh my God, you did it. 
Kazme, you, you saved the colony. All credit to Kazme. Wow. How honored you must be to witness this, Aaron. Alright, let's get you your peg leg. This this takes wood, so technically this is like extremely valuable. Have we done it yet? Aaron, have you have you given her the peg leg? I mean I guess you probably have. No you haven't. What the fuck did you even do? Did you did you fail? Just give her a peg leg? Hmm. Didn't necessarily know that was something you could fail at. Kinda felt like you just kinda Okay. Oh look at that, and the psychic drone, that's exactly what we need. Okay, so realistically, don't, you know, I feel like we could do something with Aaron here. And, you know, I feel like Alani, she's needed to, we got to de-age her a little bit. So just real quick, we're just going to do a little bit of a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. Bring her down a few years. Excuse me. I could have swore you were already this age. Why not just... Age sickness. I feel like she didn't age down at all. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a little disappointing if that's the case. I think one thing we really need to do is get the storage kind of figured out a little bit. So, wood is going to go outside from now on. We're gonna put a bunch of it out here. And this is how we'll stockpile all the wood. Hopefully one day we'll have enough to actually fill every one of these stockpiles. God, that would be amazing. So we have raw wood, which I didn't know was different than wood. Hmm. Am I gonna question it? Probably not. Copy settings. Select similar. And paste, there we go. Now all our wood will go here much more organized. And I'm gonna do a little bit of just organizing in here anyways, just to make everything look a little bit nicer. Okay, running into a little bit of a minor problem with the hay. I don't know what to do with the hay. Um, is this something I should be using for hay reason? Does anyone know how to use hay for anything? Do let me know, why do we have, oh, that's right. Sorry, I just got distracted. I forgot, we have a person in here who is, uh, been frozen. Don't we have a necromancer who's supposed to be working on this? Oh no? Perhaps we don't. Wait, are you the necromancer? No, you are not the necromancer. I swear to god, we had somebody who was gonna fix this problem. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. We need to be on the lookout for a necromancer to revive them, because I think they were our doctor at one point. Hmm. Definitely a high priority. Now look, I've done the math. We don't have enough right now to do this, and it will take all of our wood. However, hear me out. It would be pretty impressive if we could get an all fine wood floor in here. I think that would really impress people when it comes to the bone shack. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. It's massive waste of the little bit of wood we have, but I think it's very necessary. Otherwise, what are we supposed to do? Not make a ridiculously expensive floor for a room that won't really serve a purpose? Come on. This is what I was looking forward to. Uh, we have an opportunity. Someone is on vacation and they will pay us silver to stay at our base. 90 per day for three days. I think we have to accept them. And we can give them this room because it's uh, considered somewhat impressive. So first come, first serve. There you go. The first member of the Bone Shack. Well, the first tenant at the Bone Shack. Perfect, why are you blushing? Why were you blushing? Why are you blushing? What is happening here? You're a dislike Xenotype, are you? Oh, maybe for your weird faith. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Uh, pessimist, gay, gourmand. They're incapable of, of all work. Oh God, they're actually terrible. Um, 
I don't know, maybe we'll recruit them at some point. Could be good, could be good. They're young enough to have children, so maybe we'll recruit them. We're kind of slowly dying of starvation, so I think we're gonna hunt all of the deer. Because, <laughs> shit, I didn't realize how bad it was getting. But yeah, oh wait, there's a food person here, bulk goods merchant. That could definitely be something for us. Maybe we have something they want. So we could, no, they totally don't. Hmm. Well, that is incredibly disappointing. I remember this, Iggy. My god, can you please shoot the doe and not your child? Oh my god. She chases this thing around the entire map. There we go, finally. Why are you hiding in your room? What's the matter here? Body malnourished. Dude, I am working on it. You don't even know how much I'm working on this. Thank you, dog, for eating the little bit of meat we have. I may eat that dog. Okay, well, apparently Bone Man took it among himself to behead Nikolay, which is, uh... Which is about the worst thing that could have happened. This was a big waste of a person. If we were gonna kill them, really could have just had Alani reverse their age. Yeah, go, go, go eat your raw meat, Bone Man. God damn it. Hey, but looky here, we, now we have human flesh. Wonderful. I should actually be sure that we're able to make that into... Yeah, we're gonna allow all meat. Just realize, we might be making th these meals without, like... We might be butchering people for no reason. Which, that would be ridiculous. Also, Bubblegum Girl, don't judge me. This is a temporary setback. Right? <laughs> Probably. I mean, I fucking hope. Hmm, nothing like human meat and fat. Okay, it was definitely a waste of resources to make all this out of mithril, but I mean, look at it. It looks so good. So, so good, in fact. We're going to make some more of these. Yeah, there's no point, but what of it? We could have our... You know, I once played a game of RimWorld with somebody who insisted on us building a golden castle, so... Honestly, this does not feel that wasteful. Mind you, we don't have any walls around our colony yet, so... And these do have, like... They do have a... 700 hit points? These would have been good for that. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking to myself about it, because I'm only going to make myself upset about what definitely is not a mistake. I mean, we could probably have, like, a stew pot, right? A mithril stew, stew pot? Oh, God, it's like... It's like delicious dungeon in here. Okay, all our food is dying because of the cold. Oh, I did not realize that it is now fall, and it's going to be winter in a day. Um... Oh, yeah, we did not prepare well. This was, um... This was maybe not as well thought out as I thought. And look at that, it's party time. <laughs> That's... Perfect. Mad Ibex Doe. This really does seem to be, like, the most minor issue on the planet when you're running low on food. Oh my god, the thing was tough as hell, though, wasn't it? Reminds me, I think we're still missing our nose, aren't we? Or are we not missing our nose? Oh, I guess our nose was shattered, but it's now fine. Interesting. I thought we just didn't have a nose anymore. Hm. And you're gonna live. You're not gonna die of infection, which is nice. A little bit surprising, a little bit disappointing that it came that close. Ah, oh, Lord. Starvation from who? You know what? Then eat. Then eat, Mara. No one is stopping you. Although, I guess you're unconscious. Uh, Bone Man, can you real quick just... Uh, get the funnel? Thank you. Apparently, we're running low on medicine. Which would typically be pretty easy to deal with, but because it's the first day of winter, 
it's the hardest thing in the world to deal with. So, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna hopefully not die. Okay, I don't know how we do it, but apparently we just, um... I really don't know how it keeps happening, but I've... We appear to just be... Very hungry boys. Because <laughs> we keep running out of food extremely fast. When I kind of feel like we shouldn't run out of food. Hmm. Kind of feels like we kill a lot of animals. So it's a little bit surprising this keeps happening. Does everyone just have an insane metabolism? Like, what is your deal? You're a mage. Your hunger rate is twice as fast as everyone else's, which is a lot. I'll admit that. Like, I know that. Driver, are you are you a problem? No, you're not the problem. You're very normal. You. Okay, you you and you are a problem. And you're a minor problem. But seriously, like everyone is I mean, you are also a big problem. Okay, never mind. I understand why we're doing so badly on food. Turns out everybody needs all the food in the world. What the fuck are these? Fucking raptors? Oh, th this Dragon has been tracking raptors? Um... Okay. I'm not- its name is Calamity. I just feel like that just is a sign that it's going to murder us if we try to do anything with it. So we're gonna... We're gonna do nothing with that, I think. I think that's the way to go. God, I wish you were better at hunting. Oh shit, we're being raided. Oh, just by one person named Rosie. Well, Rosie, you are 47. You are a pyromaniac and gay. You have no purpose in this colony. <laughs> so you're going to die. Oh man, get the buster sword out. Here we go. It's time. Are they going to wait for a while? That's so dumb. They should attack, like, immediately. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go execute the hell out of them. Oh, once we get to them. You know, sometimes it takes time. I mean, I would be shocked if we didn't execute them right off the bat. Why are they... Why are they running? Ow, you fucking shot me? Excuse me. I mean, did you actually get me? No, you did not. I am going to murder you, though. There we go. Ah, that's better. Look, this might be a bit ambitious to give ourselves a large uh, meat shelf. But I'm just a little bit optimistic. I also realize I did just delete our storage, so that is, uh... That one is a problem. <laughs> Let's just, uh... There we go. And just disallow everything but food. Perfect. Very ambitious to put a meat shelf in here, considering we have no food, but... It's probably fine. We're like butchering things though, right? We like we are we do have a little bit of food. Diver, are you still hunting? Thank god you're still hunting. God, I wish you weren't so ass at shooting things though. You're now mining for mithril? Oh you fucking bird just excuse me. You are not mining for mithril if there's still an Ibex. Although maybe there's not an Ibex, maybe I'm just nuts. But I definitely feel like we should have... We shouldn't have given up that quickly. We should definitely... We should definitely find a better food source. You know, speaking of food sources... I mean, Rosie the Barkeep is just right there. So, Diver, if you could, just do me a quick favor and please butcher them. Look... I don't want this to be a cannibalism playthrough. I've kind of been there, done that in this game. But 
we just kind of have to survive at this point, I think. And I think we're surviving is we're going to kill this fucking raccoon. And then we're going to butcher this raccoon. There we go. Uh, is it progress? Fucking dick. I hate that dog. That dog is really screwing me over. What's your name? Cindy? I think I hate this dog. What? Your meat is only 90%. You're not even good to eat. It's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Everything's fine. I now realize that we have no food because apparently we ate all those things immediately. Um, everyone's having tantrums because they're malnourished. Not great, not great, not great. However, there are these muffalo here, see? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, Sebastian. Didn't you learn this lesson with the buffalo? Yeah, I learned that you can't, that you can't kill the muffalo. Well, you can't kill the buffalo, but the muffalo, they only have a 10% chance of murdering me on the spot. So I think 10% of 10% is 1%, and then that's just like 0.1%, and then that's like 0.01%. The odds are in our favor that the more of these we kill, the more fine we'll be. Yeah, I passed math a few times. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Well, it's all fine. Oh, dear God, this has been so difficult. Uh, Lucifer bugs? Apparently these are being hunted by... I guess these are being hunted by a dragon. Would they be good for us to eat? Or would these not be good for us to eat? Wait, why are we not hunting the hares? These things aren't going to murder us. These would murder us. Okay, so let's not go after the Lucifer bits. I think instead we're gonna go after everything else first. Cypher's just holding this colony together, making these simple meals best she can. Ah, God. It has not been easy today. It really hasn't. We've got eight meals for seven people. Well, nope, nope, sorry. For nine people. It's probably fine. It's also, there is a bulk goods trader, which maybe will be our best friend right now. I mean, it totally could be. Excuse me, I told you to trade with this person. Excuse me, trade with them. There we go. <gasps> they have chocolate. They have food. Well, no, they really only have chocolate and beets. Not beets by Dre, either. Um, we're gonna take all of this, 177, which I know you're gonna say you can't afford that, and you're right, I cannot. However, however, if I sell my Orc Halcon, which I'll never use in a million years, I will be able to. Okay, we'll do that, and... Do we buy anything else? I kind of want to buy these bulls. Yeah, fuck God. Okay, so in my other playthrough, I'm kind of become obsessed with like raising cows and bulls. So I think I'm actually going to buy both of these, even though they cost too much money for me to own. But maybe we can, maybe we could just scrounge up the tiniest bit of money. Honestly, some of these we could definitely get rid of. There we go. Perfect. Oh. I think the colony will be saved. I think. I'll see. So I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a lot more edited than what I normally do. I kind of figured I want to make a little bit more... I want to make content that felt like it took a little bit more effort, you know? 
So I don't know if this is going to be able to be as regular as when I just do my regular long form videos, but if you enjoy them and you want more of them, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good night. Bye.